So guys, I'm out hiking the dogs around and I'm on top of this big culvert looking down into this storm drain and there's a massive, massive school of creek chubs down there. I'm going to walk out a little bit. You won't be able to see them. There's no way because the water's a little bit murky, but just probably 200 of these things in two feet deep of water in this, basically this glorified puddle. It does have a stream running through it. That's why it's always full of water, but with uh, as bad as the weather's been until trout season, this might be my only option for fish. So I'm thinking we try fishing for some big old creek chubs. Cause some of them are like eight, nine inches. I can see from up here. So uh, yeah, I think that'll be our next video. So if this is the intro for whatever my next video is for this spot, then so be it. This is the intro. Okay guys, so it's actually the very next day. Picked up some red worms at Walmart. We've got a couple hours to try to put the hurting on these creek chubs. Nice and overcast, so they should be biting good. Um, we're gonna get to that uh, storm culvert, that pipe thing. See if we can do a little sight fishing, maybe even sit up on the pipe and cast down onto them. Just going to rig up a simple split shot and bait holder hook rig. Probably start without a float and just see if they'll pick it off the bottom. So uh, yeah, we'll get out there, get rigged up and see what kind of fish we can get. All right, we made it back down. What we're gonna try to do is just sit there on the edge and cast down onto them so I can sight fish them. That is the goal. I'm gonna get rigged up and see if we can do this without falling in. Falling in would not be fun. A little cloudy but I can still see them down there so that's good first cast guys and we got a big one <laughs> first cast we got a big old big old creek chub feels good to catch a fish again Yes, big mama jama. Yes, big old mouth on him. Awesome size creek chub. Let's get a picture. Awesome to be back on fish, any fish. I don't even care. And especially to have one of the big ones hit it first. And I still got my worm. All right, guy. Look at me just sitting up here with my feet dangling over. <laughs> Feel like a little kid. There we go. Bye, fella. Very next cast, got another one. Another good sized one, guys. Another really good sized one. Yes. Already tearing them up, I knew we would be. Oh, uh, they're like almost 20 feet down there. I'm way up here. Okay, not quite as big as that last one, so don't need a picture of him we'll just let him go right away but still almost almost probably five inches right on already got fish number three guys wow this is a really good idea to come out here these creek chubs are hungry Boom, fish number three. Little bitty bait holder hook, little red worm. Same worm I started with too. I'll need to replace him this time, he got busted up. Let's keep going.
fish number four, guys. <laughs> right on. Still not one as big as that first one, but actually this is the smallest one of the day. But I got them nonetheless. These would make great live bait or catfish bait. Sweet. There's fish number five. Man, these guys are hungry. It's like a feeding frenzy down there. Probably don't have a whole lot to eat since it's been cold. Let him go right away. Fish number five. There's another one, guys. I'm starting to sprinkle a little bit. So they're, I can see them. They're getting in like a more of a frenzy down there. They're moving around a lot faster. Just another little guy. That's okay. All right, let me let you free. Have to replace our worm again. It's getting beat up. Got another little guy there. I want to get some of them big ones. There's some that are like eight, nine inches down there, but the little guys are swarming it. Got these little four or five inches that are just hammering it. That first one was good, but there's some that are even bigger than him. What is that, half dozen now? Five, six, something like that. There you go. Yet another one. See him splashing down there. Creek Chub Frenzy, guys. I'm glad I came out here. I needed to catch some fish. I needed to catch a lot of fish like this, even if they're small. I definitely needed a day like this. You know, guys, what I've decided to do with the rest of my worms today, instead of hanging on to them, I'm actually going to feed these guys, you know, help them out, give them something to eat. That way, next time I come back, maybe they'll be a little bigger. So I'll give them all these worms that I don't use. They're going right back in this little culvert. Is that a little bit better one? I think it might be. Yeah, a little bit. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but maybe the third biggest of the day. Yeah. Good sized little chub there. Barely hooked, too. There's another one. He's not super big, but he's got some fight to him for a little guy. Well, he ain't bad. He's close to six inches. Yeah, not bad. Definitely had some good fight to him. All right, let go of that hook. There we go. There's a big one. There's a big one. All right. Yep. That's a good one. We'll probably be getting a picture of him. I still don't think he... Well, I can't tell. Maybe not quite as big as that first one, but they look so tiny down there, and then holding them up, they start getting bigger. Yeah, he's about the same size as that first one. Maybe a tad bit smaller. We'll get a picture of him, though. Definitely the... Second biggest one. 
All right, we got our picture. Let's let the little guy go. Well, the big little guy. He got that hook really good. There we go. Come on. Almost. Almost got him free. Got him. There we go. There's another one. Probably pushing 10 at this point. All right, guys, I've had enough of sitting up here. Caught plenty this way. I want to go down and bank fish them. Maybe take a little easier, uh, be a little easier on my legs, and I won't be so uh, <laughs> tense down there, you know, because I have to sit in one position up here so I don't fall off. So let's switch over to the bank and see if we can uh, get some more that way. Well, guys, I think I actually want to put the bobber on because they're biting so crazy right now. I don't think really the bobber splash in there will affect it at all. I don't think they'll be scared of it. And I want to see some bobber down action. So let's do that. Well guys, I'm not kidding you. Even as aggressive as these fish are, that bobber is making them scatter. So the only thing they want is just that little piece of worm that falls in with, without making a lot of noise. This bobber is just it's too much for how deep the water is. They can see it. It's too big of a splash. So yeah, switching back to the plain bottom rig. Just like that guys going back to that bottom rig and we got one so they're not scared of a little piece of split shot hitting the water with a worm but that bobber was enough to make them uninterested but not scare them completely because they're still feeding obviously let this little guy go Let's see if we can get some more Ooh, that's a good size one he was tugging on it. Felt like a trout. <laughs> Caught a lot of trout in my time, guys. That's what he felt like, the way he was biting it. Yeah, good size one there. Not, I mean, he's maybe top four for the day. Not as big as I thought, though. There we go. Got that hook out of him pretty good. Catch a couple more. There's one. Doesn't feel too shabby. Yeah, it looks like a little. He's whoa! One of the, one of the really big ones is chasing him. That was cool. I saw him come up and swipe at him like he was like he was a meal, and he's not all that small. I mean, he's not huge, but. One of the big guys definitely came up and swiped at him. Kind of cannibalistic. I want to get one really big one if I can before I call it quits and head home. Got plenty of time. So that's kind of my goal right now. Just catch one of the really big ones down there. If I can get one that's like pushing eight inches, that would be sweet. Just see if I can get it to where these little guys aren't swarming it as much. Maybe we'll get lucky. Just another little one. Average size, four incher. Still, that we're probably up over 20 fish at this point. I don't know, I haven't been keeping track.
Another little guy. Really little guy. One of the smallest ones of the day. I feel like these things would make great bass and catfish bait. Especially if they were swimming around live on like a little circle hook. There's a little bit better one. They're down a little farther than I have been casting. I actually lost a really big one before this guy. A really big one. One of those big ones I'm chasing. It's so kind of a bummer, but it's all right. You're going to lose fish in this game. This is about a five incher. There we go. All righty. Yep. Got my big one. Got my big one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, yeah, he's definitely big. Yeah, that's definitely one of the bigger ones. That's about, yeah, that's about seven, seven inches long. Nice. Let's wrap it up with him, guys. It's starting to rain. Let me get a picture of him and call it good. Okay, guys, we got our picture. Let's let him go. He's bleeding a little bit. Hate to see that, but I think he'll be okay. There we go. Right on. You know what? On camera, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to dump all these worms in here and give these guys a nice little creek chub buffet. Got a whole pile of them left. I don't mind. They were only like four bucks. Here, fishies. You deserve it since I terrorized your population. Yeah, the dirt's not going to hurt anything. There we go. Oh yeah, probably a good 15 worms in there for him. Oh, I can see him tearing them up already. You guys probably can't see because the rain ripples on the surface, but they're like hammering them. Cool. Well, guys, there you have it. A much needed successful fishing day. I don't even care that they're creek chubs. The, the cold fronts and the weather has just shut down everything but trout, and the trout is closed until April 6th out here in Pennsylvania. So this is what I'm limited to, and I'll take it. I caught, you know... 20, two dozen fish. That cool storm culvert there, guys. I'll take that any day. Time to hike about a mile back, wrap this up, and get on with my weekend. So, until next time, guys, appreciate you watching. We are like 30 hours away from being monetized, so that's going to happen here probably in the next week. Really good stuff. I appreciate all you guys, all your views, all the loyal fans out there. So, uh, see you guys in trout season, and, uh, in the next video. Take it easy.